It's just the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm panicking. My brain's just been electrocuted. He's on fire. The smell of burning skin is horrific. Why am I going to lose my friend? He's on a train. What should we do? I hope we just live for exploring. He was willing to go on an adventure sort of thing, do something different. He'd always be looking for the next thrill. Places we weren't meant to be, things we weren't meant to do. He'd probably be the one that stayed up the latest and stayed out the latest. He's a bit of a monkey man. Just calm with anything. We just finished school and we all finished our exams. Oh, no. And we were just Did kicking a away? ball about as we usually do. We saw the train stop. We just sat there for ages. The pub was like, imagine if you climbed on it. We climbed on this building, we climbed on that building. We ain't been on top of the train. We knew what we were doing was wrong, but we just thought, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Quickly now, there's no one around. As he went up, he passed me his phone down. I've worked for Nowhere Rail for 15 years. This was by far, I'd say, the worst day of my career. And the flash just lights the sky up. We knew straight away by the smoke and the smell he'd received a massive electric shock. Hubbard was hit with 25,000 volts when the electricity jumped from an overhead cable. That's a hundred times the power supply in your home. A fireball has set light to Hubbard's clothes and it's burning into his skin. Quick, should we go get him? He's on top of no, the No, 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 leave him. He's on fire. Don't no, touch him now, okay? Straight away, your heart's in your stomach and you feel sick. You could see his hair burning. His whole body was smouldering and smoking from head to toe. It's just the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I just couldn't believe he was, oh, I might, might lose him, like. We didn't think he had any chance. Am I going to see a dead person? Within a split second, I saw red, fully red. Adrenaline had overcome my body. This could not be real, like. How am I still here if it is real sort of thing as well? Is he breathing unconscious? Yeah, he's moving, he's got off. I can't, oh. I just looked down and seen black. My t-shirt had burnt off. My skin was all black on my torso. Instantly I realised that my left arm and right leg were both paralysed. Within seconds my life had changed forever. The damage was done. It was just a case of get him into survival mode now. He's trying to get down. Stop, don't move. We said to him, don't move, we're getting the power off. If you've been electrocuted, stay as still as you can until the power is turned off. And if you see it happen, don't approach. If you get too close to the power source, you could cause another shock. I think the shock was just sort of phasing me. This isn't happened, this is just not even happened. Like, take this bit out of my head. It was just all bewildering. I'm no, panicking, yeah. man. I know, I know, I know. Just slow down and tell me exactly where you are. Call for help straight away and make it easy for help to find you. Don't leave it to chance. The operator will need to alert whoever controls the power, and only when the power's off can the paramedics approach. Until the emergency services arrived, it was just a case of keep him talking to stop him going into shock. Whenever he asked me how I am, I was just, yeah, I'm freezing, man. I'm freezing. Like, I've got no skin on me. I feel quite cold. At one point, he didn't answer me, and then um, my heart really did sink then. Hubbard's sister and mum, they came down. His family's there in front of me, and I'm just there like, this is actually real. They're, they're crying, they're literally in tears, they're in bits, everyone's in bits. I said, don't you go to sleep. Move your hand if you can hear me. And then I'd just seen his hand move, and I was like, he's still alive. The fire department got me down and got me into an ambulance and then started hitting me with everything early, just injections and everything. That was when I started zoning out. I can remember the nurse coming in and everything and saying, do you want to go see him now because we've got him, he's all he's sedated at the moment. But I didn't want to see him like that, I'd say he didn't make it. I want to remember Hubbard being the person that I remember in school and everything, playing football with that person like, and that's all I wanted to remember him by. I definitely think it was worse for my family than it was for me because I was there on all these drugs out of my head. They didn't know if I'd ever wake up again. I had so many open wounds. If I'd got one little infection, that would have just been me gone. When I woke up from the coma, the only movement I had was really my fingers. I could just squeeze a bit and that was it. I was aware that life was never going to be the same again. The electricity that shot Hubbard passed through his left shoulder and came out of his right foot. 
causing devastating burns over 57% of his body. An electric shock, it's like a bullet. The hole that it goes in is actually smaller than where it comes out. It's more of an explosion on the way out. So my right foot got a bit of a hole in it. Recovering from a burned injury, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. The skin is the biggest organ on the body. And trying to heal that, stupid amounts of pain. They just take skin off my legs and put it on my body. But they were doing it that frequently that my legs didn't have time to heal. And I always remember my mum saying to me, this is the worst of it, it's only going to get better from here. But every day it was like, oh, can it just not hurry up a bit? But yeah, I've learned a lot about patience. It was learning literally every single thing again. Like your newborn baby, really. I had to learn to breathe on myself. I had to learn to talk. I had to learn to eat. I had to learn to walk. I was being cared for completely by other people. I'm so proud of him. I can't believe that he's actually gone through all that and he's still here. The accident made me realise how bad life could be. I tell my friends and everyone just appreciate the small things. It can be in a split second taken away.